Questions? Yeah, just ask okay. me a question. Will you accompany showings? Um, you know, that's a that's an interesting question. Will we accompany showings on a listing? You know, and I've heard that for many, many years. People have asked you know, us, are we going to accompany showings? Because when real estate uh, agents accompany showings, they have a very specific, uh, detailed reason why we personally do not accompany showings. Keeping in mind that our goal is to sell the seller's home for the most amount of money in the shortest amount of time. And also keep in mind, we don't get paid unless the property sells. So if I knew for a fact that I could sell a property faster and for more money, and there was a technique in order to do that, don't you think I would do it? Yes, I do. Absolutely. Yeah. So, uh, so the question is, why don't we accompany showings? And why do other agents accompany their showings? And there's a very specific reason for that. When a seller is selling their home, oftentimes the agent will tell them, the seller, to not be in the house when the home is being shown. Have you heard that before? Yes, I have. Right. So what is the reason why they ask the seller to leave the property? I don't know. Well, to make the buyer feel more comfortable. The buyer will typically stay there longer when the homeowner is not there. Oftentimes, if a homeowner's you know, stay in one room, the buyers will not look in that room that often, and when they leave the property, uh, oftentimes the buyers will say to the seller, sorry for inconveniencing you. You as a seller do not want a buyer to feel inconvenienced. You want them to feel at home, so they buy your home. You follow me? Yeah. So, so yeah. here's what agents do. Very, very critical mistake. You know, with all the new agency laws and disclosures, and now we're in the information age, buyers know for a fact that the agent whose name and whose picture is on the sign in the front yard, they know that that person is a representative of the seller. So here's what bothers me. Agents will ask the seller, the owners, to leave the home. And then in place of that, now comes the seller's representative. In most cases, that's worse than having the seller there because now the buyers can't are being coached by their buyer agent that if they like the property that they shouldn't show any emotion or feeling about the property when buying a home is an emotional purchase. <laughs> and so by a listing agent showing up at the property, they're robbing the buyer of that opportunity to actually go in there and buy uh, the property and feel emotionally connected to the property because they have to hide their feelings because the listing agent is there. Now, here's another factor that rolls into this. When a homeowner lists their home with a, uh, with a real estate agent who has to accompany showings, here's the reality of what really happens that sellers are completely and totally unaware of. And we working with buyers understand this because we see what happens and the seller never knows. Seller lists their home with an agent who insists on being present for the showings, right? The buyer agent calls the listing agent and says, I'd like to show this property on Saturday at 1 o'clock. Well, guess what? Your listing agent that you've hired isn't available. So because your listing agent isn't available, the house doesn't get shown. If the house doesn't get shown, it doesn't get sold. I've had that happen to me. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Exactly. So now the second uh, situation that occurs is that your listing agent uh, shows up but shows up late, causing the buyers to feel uncomfortable or your listing agent shows up on time, maybe ahead of time, turns all the lights on, gets everything ready, and then keeps looking at their watch, telling the buyer and the buyer agent that they have to hurry up and leave so that, um, you know, they, because they have another appointment to get to. See, all this emotion that's being created to the buyer is not helping the sales process. If a buyer can actually go into a home with their own buyer agent, the agent that they like and love and trust, and not have to be led around by the nose by their list, by the listing agent of the property reading off an information sheet saying oh the taxes are two thousand four hundred and seventy two dollars a month and by the way the school is a half a mile down the road all that information about the property can be put on the table in an information book you know uh, so many times real estate agents will bring buyers around the property and say here's the bathroom Oh, what gave it away? The fact that there's a bowl bolted to the floor and there's a shower in the corner? I mean, it's so silly when I see agents showing homes. Here's the main fact. Homes sell themselves. Real estate agents do not sell homes. They market homes and they negotiate contracts. If they're good, they'll do an excellent job of doing those two things. But they cannot sell a home. There's nothing, my first manager I ever had told me, he said, John, there's nothing you can say 
to a buyer to get them to buy a property if they absolutely do not like that property. <laughs> There's nothing I can do to sell them that property if they don't like it, if it doesn't meet their needs, if it's not the right home for them. So what are we going to do or say to, to force a buyer to buy? It's impossible. It doesn't happen. The best thing you can do is list your home with an agent who allows the buyer to look at the property when they're the most comfortable, which is with their buyer agent, not with the listing agent. If you want to get your home sold fast for the most amount of money, list your home with an agent who is not going to be there and be present for the showings. Okay. Make sense? Yeah.